Var, Tiberius, and Zelos. What say you guys? All right, so we're out looking for Acklin Celebon, right? You know he's at the at the yeah he's at the uh, the north gate. Well, gate we'll to the black the guard, gate. I think it's called. The gate to the black guard. I think it is. I think that's what it's called. Fantastic. Well, I'll go ahead and wheel my uh, signet ring that has my family crest to the inside of my hand. So just to make sure that, uh, you know, make sure everybody's on even footing here and he doesn't recognize my crest. So we'll wheel over to uh, Mr. Acklin and um, we'll say, Hail Acklin, and give him a little wave. Ah, the name is Akin. Whoever told you there's an L in there was sorely mistaken. How can I help you today? Are you with one of the, the caravans passing through Boulder's Gate? Yeah, we're with um, we're with the caravan. Uh, you might have you might have heard uh, from the uh, the rest of the group. So I'm actually Dave. I don't know how to really. I can't remember right offhand what the uh, sign was for my golden gauntlet, or yeah, not golden cool. gauntlet, but you know, because I'm on the order of the gauntlet, so I know what the uh, the thing is, but I don't know what to sign to say, hey, I'm with the Order of the Gauntlet since oh, he's, he's working for whatever it is. The, the secret, <laughs> That's right. The secret word, yeah. That's New right. England the clam secret chowder. word. <laughs> exactly. So I'll, I'll just... Oh, Jesus. We'll just kind of play it, play it by ear, but we'll tell him, Akin, Akin, you know, we may have, uh, we may have had a little bit of uh, word come before we got here, but um, yeah, we're with the uh, the Gauntlet and we're here to pick up our, our, uh, our wagon and materials. Your wagon and material, and, and who who is sending you? Ah, uh, yes, we're uh, we're sent by uh, Mr. Froon, Anthar Froon. Ah, uh, good old Anthar. Uh, he's a he's a good friend of mine. He he didn't mention anything about a uh, a wagon or supplies. Uh, uh, am I missing something here? Yeah, yeah, Anthar, he should have probably sent you. Maybe maybe it was a little slow in getting here since we did travel pretty fast. But, um, yeah, we're, we're, uh, what what Anthar should have sent, sent it for, we're supposed to get a wagon with some merchant supplies and some uh, some garb, some uh, merchant garb, and um, Mox Zero, help thank you us for the follow, Mox Zero. Uh, integrate. Thank you. And, uh, of course, I'll look around to make sure not a lot of people are are how busy this is no uh, it's it's actually it's it's bustling pretty pretty nice in there there is a, also a, a a small caravan that just uh pulled up to the gate and they're you know they're unloading some goods they're also putting some goods onto the actual uh caravan you can see that there's several merchants in there you know saying i'll take 10 rolls of this material i'll i'll take uh four crates of this i'll take six crates of that so you can hear there's a lot of uh, uh a lot of purchasing and bidding going on there and you can see that there's just all well, kinds I'll kind of, move of closer and hmm. kind of be fairly silent in his ear and i'll say um you know your your um anthar said that you would help us integrate within this coming um, caravan in the next few days. Mm. Oh, so, so you're here for for that caravan. Uh, Absolutely. He he looks around and he, he pulls you to the back. He takes you behind. Uh, there's a like a curtain door, and he he pulls you back there, and and it's a little bit more quiet in there. And as you're walking in there, you can see that there's a sort of like a like a tack board, and there's all kinds of wanted you know wanted this wanted that for that you know wanted higher needing guards for traveling and and whatnot so there's all kinds of you know, you know flyers up so when you when you come back to the back room um akin tells you that there's a lot of people around here and we need to keep this really super quiet this is this is so important that the caravan comes here and restocks, replenishes, because uh, you just can't ask like that because we don't know who's around. You know, with and you flashing your, you know, your your new order of the gauntlet, you know, medallion around. It's just not going to work. Not here. Not here in Baldur's Gate. 
It may work in, in El Toro, but not here. You need, really need to keep that discreet. You got me? Absolutely. Okay. Sorry about that, I'm Mr. I'm glad Atkin. we're on the same page. No problem. Now, what is this about? Uh, Onthar said nothing about a wagon or supplies. And he's usually a pretty punctual guy. I've known Onthar a long time. So this so what is something Anthar that say? you're needing? Yeah, what did Anthar say that he would... Uh... That, that we were going to He request. told me that there was a group of six people coming here from the Chinthar River, and that was three days ago. That's that's a uh, that's all I know, and you were the ones that were supposed to be uh, merging with the caravan that was coming through. And then uh, and then as he's talking, one of uh, one of his you know coworkers comes in and and ask him several questions about, uh, you know, how much of this do we have left? And so he, you know, points him in, uh, in the direction, and, and then you guys are back alone again. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really good, Pug. All right, so, so it sounds like he didn't really run through a basic idea, but what we'd like is we'd like to be able to, to get a, a wagon loaded up with some merchandise and then integrate to the caravan like we're... Um, like we're just another set of merchants. Okay, that that can be an option. Uh, that is a costly option. Uh, I could I could possibly help you with uh, getting you a good deal on a wagon. Possibly, uh, I could probably get you some supplies. I mean, what are you wanting to put on this? You know, supplies aren't cheap. I mean, what are you wanting to put on there? Wheat, flour, salt. I mean. God yeah, forbid, I mean, iron or copper, or maybe some ginger, maybe cinnamon. I don't know, cloves, you silk. Know, basically, if you have anything that's heading that way, then we will just drive that that I, wagon. I personally don't. Uh, I just, I'm basically the middle We could take the, the place man. of whoever normally would be transporting that wagon to its destination. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do any of the hiring. I basically just fix. You know, my guys, we basically keep things for we keep things we store things and then we sell the things to the other merchants that are coming through that are supposed to be here picking them up so basically that's what we do we're like a middleman and then we get our cut of course and as you can see things are fast paced around here yeah but absolutely it, but if you need a wagon i could help you out with them i could get you i could help you get a wagon if you need horses horses aren't cheap i could probably help you out uh, getting a deal on some horses, but uh, Onthar said nothing of the such. He sent he sent no currency to help with that. So, so I think I'll pull uh, uh, Rafavar and Zelos off to the side and uh, talk to them. Okay, uh, he's gonna. He says I got lots of works to do around this place. So, uh, whenever you find out whatever you need, I haven't seen uh, that particular caravan stop in. Uh, but uh, let me know where you're staying, and the moment that it comes in, I'll send uh, one of my other associates over to let you know right away. Because I don't know if this caravan's staying, if they're going, if they're just passing through. I don't know anything about this caravan. Supposedly they've been on the road for, what, uh, I think Onthar said, 50 days, or no, maybe 20 days. You're going to be 50 days because it, it's supposed to be going up to the Mirror of Dead Men, which is 50 days travel from here. So, like I said, I don't know a whole so, lot about this caravan. So before you before you take off, you were saying that you could get a wagon for us and some supplies. I could. Um, mm -hmm. How much do you think couple. something like that would, would cost? Well, normally wagons are about 35, about 35 gold. They're really pricey. But if, if you want one, I could probably give you a wagon for about 10. About 10 gold? She's and not going to be the prettiest, but she'll get you there. And what about uh, some, some kind of core-based supplies? We, we, we want to make sure that we're not, we don't s stick out like sore thumbs, but at the same time, we want to also make sure that we're going to make it there and not break down. So, uh, yeah, you're going you're to need more wheels. You're going to need more, probably more springs. Uh, you're going to need to take... Uh, Horseshoes. Well, there's there's towns on the way, so uh, you'll be. We able have to yeah, stop we have horses, so at least that'll be a savings there. Yeah. Well, but you're not going to be able to run the same horseshoes for six. Have you traveled much? What's your name, by the way? 
Um, they call me uh, Tibby. Hmm, Tibby. Sure. He didn't mention a Tibby. Hmm. Well, I don't think he he went around. I don't I don't think he was talking a lot about everybody's I names. I would have remembered the name Tibby. Oh yeah, he told me everybody's names. Uh, are you? Are yeah, you trying I'm to pull Tiberius. one over on me? Okay, so you're no, Tiberius. Okay, not. all right. <laughs> I love it. I, what about uh, so? I mean, I so I've that's got about 15, short for Tibby, huh? Absolutely, Tiberius? Tibby short for Tiberius. That's just what people call me. Where do you hail from, Tiberius? Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? You look familiar yeah, to me. I've been in Baldur's Gate before. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I travel a lot doing the whole heel thing. Adventuring, seeing the world. Uh, you know, that's we're just over in El Turo. That, that was a pretty exciting town. whole town is lit up at night to keep away the undead. Absolutely mm. fantastic. If you've never seen that, you should definitely take some time to go uh, take a look at that. That was very interesting. <laughs> Seen it many times, my friend. So what, well, you said you had horses. What types of horses do you have? You said you want to walk. Horses, the horses we have are saddle horses. And who are you, we sir? Require, we're going to require, I'm Zelos. Well met, Zelos. Uh, the horses we have are saddle horses. We'll mm -hmm. need We'll need two horses broken to harness that we can use to uh, to pull that wagon. Oh, absolutely, and yeah, these riding horses definitely will not do. Uh, even though they, you know, they have a little bit better value than say a, a, a draft horse for pulling a wagon, uh, I could probably get you uh, several drafts for for the riding horses that you have. Yeah, so we could. So basically, we're just talking about doing a swap for the riding horses. For the horses, correct? Yeah. But then again, you may I don't want, want to swap. I want I want six riding horses with us, and I want uh, uh, two additional horses to pull that wagon in case we have to make a fast exit. Hmm. Good plan. All right. So you're well, looking at probably about. Hmm. He starts writing, jotting down some things. Hmm. Seeing that you're uh, you are friends and acquaintances of Onthar. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I could probably give you a deal uh, for the wagon. Like I said, the wagon, she's not the prettiest, uh, but she can definitely make the trip. You're just going to have to take her really slow and steady. But The caravan us caravans usually only travel about 15 miles a day, so you're just going to have to make sure you you know, give this thing a little bit of TLC every day. You, every day that you stop, so uh, we'll say two horses, a wagon, some extra wheels, a couple tools. Eh, we're looking at about seventy-five gold. Seventy-five gold, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a bargain. It's about well, half. That in, about half does price. that include the trade goods as well? That does not include the trade goods. Now, what? Now, with that, uh, I do have some extra stuff lying around. I do have, uh, I do have lots of wheat. I have lots of flour. Uh, I have lots of chickens. I have uh, quite a bit of salt, and then I have some other things like cinnamon and ginger and and cloves and and silver. But uh, that stuff is more expensive. It just depends. On, on how how good you want to look. You know what I mean? We do not want to be caught out. We want to look good. I don't uh, want to look that good. <laughs> flour, spices. Blend in, what, pretty much. What are we talking here? Well, if you want wheat, I can get it to you for pounds and pounds for a gold. So uh, you could probably fill up your you fill up your wagon for maybe five. 10 gold. But then again, would you really make a, a you know, a 650 mile trip with uh, cheap wheat? I mean, you got you no, to think I in think terms of that as well. We really need better trade goods than that. I think we're, we're needing cloth, we're needing uh, spices. Or, or Ackland, I mean, if you have any other way. And utensils. I mean, it's kind of, uh, you know, 
I, we had believed we had believed that the uh, the 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 guilds would help us with some of the with the finances to get things set up and going since we're doing work on their behalf. Uh, but if you didn't know about that, then do you have any other suggestions on how best that we can integrate ourselves with these? Um, well, if, if you could, uh, there's there's ways you could, you know, look to get hired on. You could, you know, ask the other merchants that will. I'm sure other merchants will be joining the caravan. There's, uh, I believe, I have about 15 to 20 other wagons that are registered on the registry uh, that will be leaving uh, within the next couple days. But like I said, it just depends on when the next car one caravan just got here, and and I believe there's uh, probably three or four uh, of those registered wagons that are leaving. Again, you're not scaring me with your price. I would like to know what. Oh, I'm uh, giving you a great what, price. What would you suggest to be a uh, stock for a voyage of that of that nature? We're talking well, 50 days. What what kind of trade goods would 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 last that long? And uh, would we be secure in trading between here and our final destination? Now you can get a couple pounds of copper for you know a gold. I mean you could you could you know you could copper's got a good value, especially up north. You know if you if you take copper to to say Daggerford or or even Waterdeep, Waterdeep would you you know if you're willing to make the trip, you could probably make money on copper or you could probably make money on uh, ginger or cinnamon. But ginger or cinnamon is actually worth more than copper. But it just depends on on uh, you could probably make some money on this also. It's it's not like you're going to be losing your money here. It takes money to make money. So I mean you can kill two birds with one stone. You're going to make it to Waterdeep anyway. Hopefully, if the bandits don't get you or the or the creatures in the in the hills to the north and the fields of the dead, uh, you know if, if the Etins don't <laughs> get you or the Boulets don't get you, then you'll probably be able to sell your, your goods at, at Waterdeep. Actually, you'll be able to sell them rather So if it's easily. like 15 gold, um, you know, you said 75 gold, well, we could haggle a little bit, but let's say another, you know, 12, 15 gold worth of supplies, kind of a mixture of, of spices and copper, uh, you know, ginger, all the different things that you said, things that are, things that are going, going pretty well. Um, what would be the lowest price that you think you could give us for something like that? We'll say, uh, what was the price that I told you again? For the, uh, you said seventy-five. Seventy-five the, for the wagon and the two horses. So, uh, wagon, two horses, and tools and some extra and, supplies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you want to go with. He's looking over his his records, and if you want to go with a a large amount of copper, he can get you uh, quite a bit of copper. But the thing with copper is it weighs a lot, so you you could be working the horses, and he goes, eh, that might not be the best. Uh, yeah, I'd rather less copper and more spices. Anything that's less in weight for the. Mm -hmm not so good wagon well you could go with a you could go with a couple hundred pounds of ginger uh, that's going to run you probably about 150 gold but you could probably double your money um, you could probably double your money in water deep so that just depends on if you want to put that much money up front you know these these aren't these goods don't belong to me these belong to other merchants. Like I said, I'm just the middleman. Now the wagon, the horses, they belong to me. Repairs, I take care of that stuff. But I'm just, I'm just the middleman. All together, we're talking 225 gold. You could, you could go with about two. We'll say 200 gold, and you'll be able to, you'll be able to have a, a, a really nice setup, and you'll probably be able to make about. You'll be able to make your money back plus another at least 200 gold. If we're not dead. 
that's if the the Ettons and the Boulets don't get you in the uh, you know, in the field of the dead. But well, the the bandits uh, the bandits are petty. They you know once you're off the coastway and you know you're you're on the the long road, you don't have to worry about those. You know especially the more wagons that you have, uh, there's going to be guards on this on this caravan. You're not going to have, really have to worry about those petty bandits. Okay, two of, so how two of how our do, number, two of I'm our sorry, number ahead, might well, us. two of our number might well act as guards as well for our our particular wagon. You can even hire guards if you'd like. I don't think we wish to quite that far. No. So how long would it 200 take? Two hundred gold. Get? Done. Two hundred. No Done. No haggling. No more haggling. <laughs> oh, he he, Done. he haggled. Lowest how long? How long before it? Uh, how long before he can? How, how long before you can get it set up for us, Ackland? Akin? It, it won't take but uh, maybe a couple hours. Hopefully the uh, the folks that you're looking for don't get here before then. Uh, but I'll have my guys get on it right away, and uh, I'll have them put your your beautiful wagon aside and. I'll let you know. Where are you, where are you staying? Do you, have you decided uh, where you're going to stay? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be staying in the... Uh, uh, oh, crap. What was it? Elvish something? The Elvish... I forget the name of the inn. Let me look. Just give me a second. Ah, so you're staying at the Elf Song Tavern? Are you yes, about the, the Elf, Elf Song. Song. Elf Song Tavern. Okay. Sorry about that. Very good. I will... Uh, I'll take note of that. He writes something down on his, on his registry and he tells you that uh, he'll get word out. Are, are you heading there now? Yes, we are indeed. You require I, I payment know. now I, I, when I, we take delivery of the wagon. You can pay now. You can get it out of the way now. I'm not going anywhere. My business hasn't gone anywhere for uh, many, many, many years. Zealous draws his purse and Whoa. counts Whoa. out 200 gold. Wow. Man, you got that much cash on you? I should have robbed you a long time ago. Hey, you know what we should do? We should probably talk this over first. I mean, I feel like this guy may be a little asking us where we are and if we're going now and how much we want and giving us the money now. Uh, is there a way I can uh, roll, Dave, to see if he's he's got some kind of a plan in the works? I'm going to roll for insight or something to see if, if he's kind of uh, trying to trick us or... If he seems dishonest in some way. You can give me... I would love for you to give me an insight roll. This guy's a businessman. All right, know, give me a These sec. guys can't hear me say it, but... This guy's a businessman. He runs a legitimate business, a, a massive operation. He's he's not trying to rip them off. In All fact, right, he, awesome. he just helped them out. He just really helped them out. So that's plus six for me. Woohoo! I mean, he gave him 200 gold for about uh, 35, 180. 18. He's a businessman. You know that he's he's all business, man. You could just tell with with your inside check, you can tell that this guy is does nothing but eat shit and sleep his business. 